Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today we are doing another webtoon reading of the Remarried Empress episodes 16, 17, and 18. Uh, if this is your first time tuning in, first time ever listening to the Remarried Empress or read the Remarried uh, Empress, feel free to check out my other videos, which is tabbed in a playlist called Webtoon Reading the Remarried Empress, or check it out on webtoon.com, uh, type it in in the search engine, the Remarried Empress, and you will find it there. Did I say that enough, Remarried Empress? <laughs> I said that like seven times. All right, guys, let's get started. All right, guys, where we last left off was in episode 15. The last section was where Rashta, here she is, this is the last uh, clip right here of her looking extremely terrified. Like she turned extremely pale. She saw a man and she was like, why is he here? And there he is. So now we just go, need to find out who is he? Why is she so afraid? I'm assuming that he's here to kind of blow her cover or he was formerly her slave owner so let's go ahead and get started daughter this this can't be lady rashta I, i'm going to turn in for the evening i think i had too much to drink well well it looks like i wasn't mistaken <gasps> that lynch Oh my gosh, Lady Rashta, it looks like you're moving up in the world. Viscount Lodeshu. Lodeshu? Lodeshu. <gasps> oh, you have people treating you like a lady even though you're a runaway slave. He's the lord of the manor. Manor, manor, where I worked as a slave. Oh, wait, hold up. Lord of the manor. Manor. <laughs> I'm going to say that wrong so many times. The Remarried Empress. Episode 16. Your Highness, did you give up on finding out who you were exchanging letters with? I am afraid so, since they haven't revealed themselves so far. I think they must want to keep their identity a secret. But you must still be disappointed. I don't want to make them uncomfortable. <laughs> he has such a dashing smile. He's, keep, he's keeping his promise. The captain of the royal guard. Your majesty, you may wish to come to the grand banquet hall for a moment. Is something the matter? Well, take me there immediately. What's going on? He would have asked me for me if he needed me there. This could be something to do with Rashta, so I don't think I'll need to go right away. Click, 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 click. I'll check on the guests one more time since today is the last day of the ceremony. And I also heard, also told Laura I would meet her in the banquet hall. I wonder, what? Something feels amiss here. <gasps> your majesty, your majesty, have you heard what happened? Did something noteworthy happen, Laura? Yes, something very interesting happened. Huh? Here, your majesty should eat while, you're lis while you listen. This news may turn out to be the icing on the cake. It's about Rashta. Laura, I do not want to hear about... <sniffs> Please, your majesty, just hear me out. Do you remember the rumor about Rashta being a runaway slave? I do, but the emperor said it wasn't true. It is true. It turns out she used to be a slave belonging to Viscount L Loteshu's family, but she escaped. Viscount Loteshu arrived today and recognized her right away. 
Because the Viscount wasn't aware of Rasha's status due to having just arrived, he blurted out the truth in front of everyone, and as the Emperor was not in the room, there was nobody there to stop him. That was, that's pretty embarrassing, actually. That's, yeah. Did Sylvatia really not know that she was a runaway slave? I mean, I thought we kind of clarified that, but hey, now, now we have the full truth. Even if he had no idea, I'm sure he still loves her. I don't know what he's going to do. Dun, dun, dun. I don't want to involve myself any further. Does she fell ill? Her Majesty is here to see you. I'll take my leave. The silence. Do you have nothing to say to me? Why did you ask to see me? I see you're not concerned in the slightest by recent events. Is that how it looks to him? I must be keeping my emotions in check. I heard what happened to Rashta. I understand your majesty is upset, but there is no reason to take it out on me. You were born as the daughter of to a high-ranking noble family. You have wealth, power, wit, and beauty, and now you are an empress. In comparison, Rasha started out with nothing. She's clever and beautiful, but she never had the opportunity to benefit from her gifts. She finally started to dream of things she could never have before meeting me, and she's also taking my husband from me. Rasha is your mistress, so you are responsible for her. She's outside of my responsibility. I don't expect you to be responsible for her. But can't you leave her be? Yesterday, you insulted her in front of Prince Henry on purpose. I was simply stating what I knew as I was aware of the truth. Are you saying Rasha lied? You are the one who believes in her innocence, not me. And today, you invited Viscount Luteshu because you wanted to prove she was a runaway slave. I'm afraid I had have no idea what you mean. You were in charge of inviting the guests for New Year's ceremony. The invitation were issued several weeks before Rasta arrived at the palace. True, so, okay, this, this king is just annoying me. You should have been considerate and canceled the invite. You should have done that yourself. You truly are code hearted. You really are a terrifying woman. He doesn't believe anything I say anymore. <sighs> My queen, Prince Henry, are you taking a walk? Uh, mm. Did your husband offend you again? Again? I should have met you before he did. Um, if only I had been born five years earlier, dash it all. Should I send Queen over to you? <clears throat> Hesitant. That would be lovely. Where is he? I will return to my room and send him to you. <laughs> then shall we go together? I'd like to ask you some questions about him. <laughs> He's walking caught. W what? <laughs> to be continued. Alright, so. My estate may not be much to look at, but I'm treated like a king there. Hmm. Why must I grovel like this in front of an emperor who's young enough to be my son? How long do I have to live like this? gritting his teeth. Explain what happened today, Viscount Lotetia. Lady Rashta, what's happening? Murmur, murmur. He wants me to explain it even though he knows what happened? This is an order. 
He wants me to take back everything I said. I can only offer you my sincere apologies, your majesty. I have always had difficulty recognizing faces and it caused me to make many mistakes. The slave who ran away from my domain also had silver hair and dark eyes, so I mistakenly thought she was Lady Rashta. I beg for your understanding, your majesty. It was the mistake of a senile old man. Please forgive me. Very well. You should continue to choose your words with care in the future, Viscount. I didn't realize the Emperor treasures Rasha this much. That evil smirk is up to no good. But of course, your majesty. The Remarried Empress, episode 17. Uh, uh, huh? Mm, uh, Queen's a bit busy. No, I mean, he's very shy. Uh, uh, but he'll be um, embarrassed if we go and see him together. He's rambling. <laughs> Queen? Embarrassed? I suppose it would be inappropriate for me to enter his room or spend time alone with him in the garden at night. I realize now that I was making an unreasonable request. No, no, not at all. But what it is that you wanted to ask about Queen? What is Queen like? Your Majesty? I beg your pardon. Uh, he's blushing. Oh my gosh, he likes your Majesty. He must be embarrassed about describing a bird as if it were human. Uh, <laughs> Please tell him I appreciate it, but that wasn't what I was planning to ask. I want to know what Queen likes to eat. He's still blushing, he's so adorable. Okay. Oh, I, I see. You wanted to know what he likes to eat. Queen is a good boy, so he will like whatever your majesty gives him. What? But... I must go and send off Queen. Oh, I see. Wiggle, wiggle. <clears throat> hmm. What is it? Is it gelatin? <laughs> what do birds like to eat? Birds like eating insects? Should I get you some mealworms that carrier pigeon eats? Mm hmm. That's what they eat? Oh gosh. Confident queen. <laughs> oh my gosh, the way the bird landed. Well, I can put up with a few bugs if it were for a lovely bird like him. I have a gift for you. Cool. <laughs> Cute. Look at it. Expectant sparkle, sparkle. Your master told me you'll eat anything, but I think he's lying. He was lying. So. I brought you something that large, magnificent birds like you generally like to eat. Look, I brought you insect. Here you go, queen. <laughs> Open wide. You got to do it for the do it for the team, bro. You got to do it. <laughs> Could it be that he doesn't like insects? <laughs> oh my god, that was hilarious. Prince Henry. I didn't give you a proper answer last time. Queen never ever eats anything that's alive. Stride. <laughs> oh my god. Then should I have the insects cooked? No, he doesn't eat insects at all. Scream. Although I was happy that his majesty stood up for me, people had finally started seeing me in a good light, but now this has happened. No, 
Even though I was a slave once, I'm the Empress Mistress now. My position is secure. Lady Rashta. Viscount Latishu is here to see you. What would you like to do? Lord Latishu is here? <gasps> uh, I actually called him the way I used to. I'm sure Viscountess Verdi must think I'm pathetic. She knows how I am connected to the Viscount. She shouldn't even mention his name to me. Why didn't she tell him to leave? Should, would he have done the same thing to the Empress? Why did the Emperor have him killed or put in prison? <laughs> to help him to leave. Uh, I'm afraid he said that if you didn't agree to meet him, you may regret it. Then tell him to come in. Let me see that shameless face of his. Uh, it's nice here. Very nice. I smell blackmail. Why are you here? You look like a noble woman now, Rashta. It's Lady Rashta to you. You can't talk down to me the way you used to. Hmm. Sure, that's true for a short while. What do you mean? Uh, don't be so hostile to me, Rashta. The Emperor ordered me to correct what I said about you being a runaway slave. Now people are going to think I am an imbecile who can't even recognize people's faces. Whether your secret stays or not, or your secret... Wait, whether your secret stays a secret or not is up to me. Then you shouldn't have blurted it out like that in the first place. You're only keeping my secret because the emperor ordered you to. <laughs> Still. At least I'm keeping the baby you left behind a secret, aren't I? Whoa, whoa. Hold up. Baby. B -b -b at least I'm keeping the baby you left behind a secret, aren't I? Oh my tea. Oh my tea. <laughs> okay. To be continued. This is getting good. Next. What a bold-faced lie. <gasps> you had my baby killed! Whoa, okay. Killed. What are you talking about, Rashta? <laughs> He's still my grandson, even if his blood is tainted by the blood of a slave. Okay, for a second, guys, I thought Rashta and that old man. Okay, okay. Good so far. I would never have him killed. You're lying. I saw his dead body with my own eyes. You definitely... Rashta, you stupid little girl. You should stop seeing me as your enemy and reconsider my role in your life. Stop, stop. She's backing away. Why can't you see that I can act as your eyes and ears? I don't need an ally like you. Damn, she slapped that hand away. Even if you wear fine jewelry and imitate the nobles, you're not actually a noble woman. How long do you think you'll stay in the Emperor's favor? His Majesty told me that I'm the only one he loves. You've seen how my son treated you. I thought you were stuck in quicksand, Rashta. That's why I wanted to save you, but I was wrong. You pulled me down with you. I love you, but I don't want to change my life for you. The more you win over the Emperor's favor, you are setting a precedent for future mistresses. Beautiful girls in desperate circumstances will want to win over the Emperor's, just like you did. Now that people know the Emperor can take on a mistress, those with political ambition will send him educated women of high station. You're not the Empress, Rashta. As soon as the Emperor stops loving you, you become a slave again. 
I'll become a slave again. She is really easy to manipulate. However, I can prevent other potential mistresses from approaching him. How? Well, you have to help me first, Rashta. Think it over thoroughly. The Remarried Empress, Episode Eighteen. He doesn't like insects. Then what should I feed him? Just give him a gentle pat on the head. That's good enough for him. I'm sorry, but the birds of the Western Empire are picky eaters.、Hmm. Maybe he doesn't like other people feeding Queen. That's quite all right. I did hear that in some cases, some people train birds to only accept food from their owner. That's not the case here, but I'm sorry nonetheless. <sighs> it's just that Queen has a lot of restrictions. Anyway. It's my queen's birthday soon, isn't it? It's queen's birthday.、Mm. Your Majesty's birthday is coming up soon, isn't it? You knew? Of course, since I am Your Majesty's closest friend. <laughs> He's so charming. The reason I stayed behind even after the ceremony was over was over because I want to spend the day with you. Didn't you realize? Empress, huh? Were you spending time with him, Prince Henry? How long do you plan to stay here? I was thinking of staying for another two or three weeks, Your Majesty. Isn't that a long time to be away? I I heard that the Emperor is in poor health. Thank you for your concern. I will take my leave, Your Majesty. Wait, huh? I'd like you to stay. There's something I would like to discuss with you in private. <laughs> Glancing. Why are you looking at the Empress so forlorn, forlornly? Because you are stealing my guide, Your Majesty. He's reaching out to her. The Empress is reaching out to her. Okay, he's desperate for something. The Empress is my wife, not your guide. Day. You might think the prince is cute because he acts like a puppy with a wagging tail, but associating with him will only lead to a scandal. A scandal. Hmm. Think how the royal family will look if a womanizer like him has a hold over the empress of the Eastern Empire. The royal family reputation will be tarnished just because I treat him like a friend. You're not listening to me. If this is because Rashta, why are you bringing Rashta up right now? Because she's the reason why you dislike Prince Henry. No, you're just using her as an excuse since you hate her. I don't think continuing this conversation will get us anywhere, so I will take my leave. Wait. I was too harsh on you when we last spoke. I shouldn't have blamed you for what Viscount Lotatio did. I was blinded by anger. I'm sorry. Okay, he he needs something. Okay, he needs something. Very well. <laughs> Does this mean it takes him around three days to come back to his senses? Also, I remembered it is your birthday soon. I think we should stay at the Imperial Villa to celebrate and to make amends. What do you think? Kind of weird, but okay. Ah, it is my duty to show the nobles and our other subjects, as as well as hostile nations, that there are no issue between the Emperor and the Empress. Our subjects want me to play the role of an Empress who is in love by the Emperor, who is loved by the Emperor. Even if Sylvia loves another woman, as the empress of the of this empire, I have to make everyone think that I still have a good relationship with him. I know what I need to do, but it hurts my pride. Empress, <laughs> I look forward to it. Oh, and just of interest, did you happen to speak with Grand Duke Kaufman? The Grand Duke, yes, but we were only spoke very briefly. 
He said Lubt wants to establish diplomatic relations with the continent of Wool. The officials are divided on this. The continent of Hua has a fascinating culture and is appealing in many ways, but their climate and natural environment are completely different from ours, and they are quite far away from us. Hmm. So establishing trade between the two might actually be a waste of the empire's money. Exactly. That's why there has been a lot of debate. What's your opinion on the matter? The academy that the Grand Duke graduated from is based in Wilwul, and to be clear, Wilwul is part of the Eastern Empire's territory. If there are issues because of the differences in climate and environment, then these issues would apply equally to Lute. If the Grand Duke, who spent several years in Wilwul, wants to establish diplomatic relations between the two continents, then he must have already given the matter due due consideration. I think we should proceed. If we decide to establish relations, the Grand Duke wants you to be involved directly. Huh? Why does he want me to be involved, even though he mocked me the other day? To be continued. All right. That was that wasn't a huge cliffhanger that I expected. But it does kind of make me question what's going on between the Duke Grand uh, Kaufman and between the Empress. Like, what does he have planned, and how is the Empress role will kind of benefit in this kind of diplomacy between their kingdom, their empire, with this man? And of course, what is this Viscount wants with Rashta? Now that Rasha knows, or not really know, but assuming that her real baby is somehow alive, so the storyline is getting very, very interesting, very spicy between Prince Henry and the Empress. But who knows? And hopefully, the Empress have a wonderful birthday, or it's gonna be very chaotic. Anyways, stay tuned next Monday, you guys, for the upcoming episode of the Remarried Empress from episodes. 19, 20, and 21. Did I say it right? Today, yeah. I see you guys next time. Remember to leave a thumbs up,、uh, subscribe, and check out my other videos. Bye. Are you are you shrimping? <laughs>